wanted to go to AEW? Or was it, no, I'm just testing this out. I want to see what this is like in comparison to your other options. Well, in, in truth, I had accepted an offer from the other place. They never set the contract. Uh, I, I always wanted to be here. I just didn't know if there was interest. I never heard back after my first dark match that I had. Uh, I tagged with Lee Johnson. and um, But I, my heart was always, I, I wanted to be at AEW because I saw what uh, what kind of vibe they had when the company first started. Was like, this is cool. This is different. Breaking uh, they're barriers. Giving, Doors. Breaking barriers. They're, they're giving opportunities to young up-and-coming pro wrestlers to be superstars. Was like, I want to be here. And then especially when I was, um, my first time I was at Dark and I saw people like Sonny Kiss and Nyla Rose walking around being themselves and not feeling judged and feeling comfortable. And the way they present their LGBTQ talent made me feel even more comfortable that I wanted to be here. So when I um, heard that Tony was like interested in talking to me and I'm like, all right, well, I still haven't signed anything, so why not? So that was the pressure. It was, I hope Tony likes me because if he doesn't, then I might have burned bridges everywhere. But, um, ah, I see what you're saying. You know I mean? you're like, well, if he doesn't give me the paper, well, now I'm, yeah, I get, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So there, and that, yeah, like you just said, and then we the delivered. Came. We delivered. We had a great match. And, you know, next thing you know, we were the acclaimed. And Max and I were trying to figure out what the hell that was and what our presentation was and, you know, move sets and catchphrases and hand gestures and, um, you know, we went from th that, and I think 10 matches in, we were main eventing Dynamite with the Young Bucks for the tag team titles. I'm like, what's happening? This is not, no, it's, it's, it's a beautiful story. Um, and just out of curiosity, too, like you said, you guys had known of each other. You guys had shared locker rooms, being on, on events and stuff. But you said it. You guys weren't friends. What was the conversation leading up to, okay, we're teaming together. I guess that's why we're both here. Like, even before you just talked about, well, what's our presentation and stuff going to be for the long term? But just in that moment going into that match, what were those conversations like? Um... Let's make it through this, that first yeah, one. Yeah, it was like, let's just, yeah, let's, basics, let's get through this. Yes, let's just show them that we're really good professional wrestlers and that we're charismatic. Um, and then after that, once we had the contracts, it was, okay, well, you know, what do we need to do here? The owner obviously believes in us. He had a vision for us. One, we want to make him proud. And two, we got to figure out how do we get ourselves over? How do we get on, ourselves on television every single week? How do we develop as performers? And every day we would talk, we would call each other, um, talk for, for, first it, it was getting to know each other as people, you know, because if this is a person I'm gonna be spending the next however many so years of my career with, I need to know who he is as a person, you know, what makes him tick, what, well, um, how I tick. So we spent a lot of time getting to know each other and then figuring out what our philosophies were on pro wrestling and just kind of using those things as jumping points to figure out what we want to do in the ring and how we want to present ourselves. <laughs> 